Hi there, old chicken nuggets. It's me, Coral, and welcome to the wonderful Grow TV. Welcome to Grow TV. Hosted by Coral. Where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome. Well, what is up, little chicken nuggets? It's so good to see you again. Now, I'm not gonna lie. I've had a great time these past couple of weeks, seeing and learning about all these wonderful things across this wonderful globe. And I'm so thankful for this VR Wonderful for giving me the opportunity to see all these wonderful places. What am I saying? These places aren't just places. They're the most wonderful and beautiful natural wonders of the world. I've seen the Northern Lights. Last time I learned about Mount Everest. But this week, hmm, this week I want to learn about something truly new. I don't want me to pick or even you to pick. What I want to do is this. You get what I'm saying now? Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to throw this ball in the air and wherever my right thumb lands, that's where we're going to go. Ready? Here we go. <whistles> Whoops, looks like my pet bird grabbed it. Hold on one sec. <whistles> Wait, which one's my right thumb? Is that... That's my lefty, righty, righty side, lefty. Oh, here we go. Looks like a place called the Grand Canyon. That's a bummer. Carl, hey, how are you doing? Hey, Jaya, I'm okay. How are you doing? I'm great. Why are you just okay? Is something wrong? Well, it's just, I hate my right thumb. Whoa, hate's a really strong word. And honestly, that's just a weird thing to say. What happened? Well, I had this globe and I had to pick a place to go and my thumb landed on some boring place. Oh, really? What's it called? It's the Grand Canyon. What is that? Is it just a place where they sell cans of Grand Biscuits until you get sleepy? <laughs> um, no. It's pronounced the Grand Canyon, and you're going to love it, Carl. Go ahead and put the headset on. Well, if you say so, here we go. Whoa. What do you see? It's amazing. It's just like it's a canyon that's just so... So... Grand? Yes, thank you. Man, I tell you, this is, this is truly something. I know it. Now, Carl, did you know that the Grand Canyon is up to 6,000 feet deep and over 89,000 miles wide? That's like 1,800 meters deep and 27,000 meters wide. I had no idea. This is absolutely mind-boggling. I know it. And I love looking at that canyon because I think it reminds me of God, believe it or not. How's that? Well, think about it. That canyon was formed by just water. Water? Water made the Grand Canyon? How? Well, over time, it took years and years for water to make its way through that rock, sand, and stone. But you can look back at the canyon walls and see its history. It's almost as if it tells a story. Just how can we look back in the Bible, especially the Old Testament, see all the amazing things God did, and be reminded of God's faithfulness? What about God's faithfulness? If we stop and really think about our lives, we'll notice that God has been there with us the whole time, even when we didn't know. That's faithfulness. God being by us no matter what. I love looking back at my life to see how God was working. It's kind of one of my favorite ways to worship. All right, hold up. What? What did I say? You just said looking back at how God has worked in your life, that's worship? Yeah, and? <laughs> <laughs> Are you joking with me? Worship is like praying, singing, dancing. You know, worship. Just remembering stuff God did is our worship. Well, I'm sorry, Carl, but uh, I think I'm going to have to disagree with you there. What? How? Let's look at Psalm 103, 1 through 4. It says, Praise the Lord, my soul, all my inmost being. Praise his holy name. Praise the Lord, my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit. All right, so? So, that verse is all about praising God and giving thanks to what God has done and will continue to do. Now, Carl, you have a lot of friends, right? Of course I do. Do you think a guy like this doesn't have a lot of friends? Well, wouldn't you love it if they remembered how much they love you more often and how much they appreciate all that you've done for them? That's why I keep telling them, so yeah. Exactly, and that's how I worship God sometimes. I mean, when I read in Exodus about God's people who were miraculously saved from the armies of Egypt, I usually get pretty motivated. 
Really? Why? Well, think about it. Even though they were rescued from a terrible life in Egypt, it didn't take God's people long to forget about how much God had done for them. They became distracted and ungrateful, which in time turned to disobedience against God. Wow, you're totally right. I mean, God's proven over and over how much we are loved. Like, look at King David, or Samson, or Adam and Eve. They were taken care of regardless of their mistakes. You got it. Worship is what connects us to Jesus. And sometimes that looks like singing, dancing, or serving, but we can't forget just how important it is to worship just by remembering what God has done. Oh, and I almost forgot, I had that verse we're trying to memorize that works perfect for this moment. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. Hey there kids, today we have a grand, no, huge, no, ginormous, no, big idea today, okay? That's right, our big idea is we can worship by remembering what God has done. All right, so we're gonna say it together, but first we have to act like the Grand Canyon, right? So arms wide, all right? Deep down voice like this, ready? One, two, three. We can worship by remembering what God has done. Wonderful job, everybody. Now make sure don't miss out on next week's episode because Carl will be using the VR Wonderful for one last time. Okay? We'll see you then. Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of...